hey guys this is V and welcome to designs by V in today's video I want to show you how I take a table that I painted same color as my china cabinet and want to turn it into a replica of something that I've seen at Neiman Marcus or Z gallery this is my table and I am going to add mirror to the table eventually I'll add mirror to the um, cabinet also but in today's video I want to show you how I will recreate that look for pennies the table was free the um, paint $13 and the glass that was also free look at this gorgeous table that I want to do a replica of so guys you have a piece in your house or you thrift the piece and you say you know what I could see there's something different yes you can achieve this look I want to show you how I did it and on top of it if you want to see a video of me showing you how to cut glass how to age the glass because I'm doing an old antique look smoke look there are mirrored furnitures out there and I do have peace in my home but I want a more classier gone with the wind how you may call it all Hollywood fabulous piece this is another piece here that is from the Neiman Marcus collection I'm going to show you clippings of it this one this table here is a thousand nine hundred dollars this is my cabinet that I have I'm gonna paint this out to in the go this is the tabletop so I am gonna take my own design that I did on my cabinet and add it to my table to make a cohesive piece and guys I think I was successful doing it tell me what you think this piece like I told you was in my husband's office it was a cherry wood piece of furniture the leg is fence post but all of the detail and including the draw I add it to this piece if I found the video I would link it in the description box so this is my table and this is the design that I took from my cabinet and added to my table and I painted it out with a brush and this is the way that is looking I am so excited about this yes so this is the way that so far that it is looking I'm gonna add more t detail to it have you seen just a little glimpse of the cabinet again and right here is these lines that I'm the curved lines that's what I want to create see how this table here has the glass in it and I am go going to do the same this was a template that I cut out and used to make my designs right here and then transfer it to my table so this is the way how everything is looking so far I'm going to shoot up this cabinet I'm not done with it I'm showing you the replica the piece the, that I got my idea from this is how it is matching the uh, its own so this is my glass I went ahead and I did a treatment on the glass I did a smoke look on them a distress them this is how they are looking guys I listen I am so stinking excited that I don't even know what to do with myself so I'm gonna do my table legs I'm gonna do around the table I'm gonna show you in this video how I cut the glass for the piece and this is the way that it's going to look. I mean, listen, this picture here is not doing the sexiness justice. But believe me, it is fabulous and unique. Mostly everyone you see with mirrors, furnitures, they all look like each other. She said, I'm going to do something different. I like the mirrored look, but I don't like, like that bright mirrored look, even though I have a piece but I'm going to recreate something on my own. These are the larger pieces that I am putting on my table. And that's the table legs, I mean, that I'm going to put. And this is the distressed look, bringing in the gold. They have parts of silver. So I can mix metals. I could just do some 
fabulous tablescapes and design and have my family dining style for the El Cheapo. So this is how it is coming along so far. Guys, tell me what y'all think. Did she do that? You think she did that? I think she did. Don't, I mean, yeah, do tell her in the comment section what she did. So this, I use the liquid nail and to adhere it to the side of the table and i'm just thinking girl what you done started what you did girl what you did yeah you did something fabulous so i'm showing you the ends to the ends and what happened is these pieces here are they are the proper width i cut them the proper size but my table has like a little contour to it like um is sort of bend so because the glass cannot bend i am gonna cut the glass to fit in space yeah she said cut glass yeah she does she know how to cut glass too <laughs> yes she know she knows some stuff some stuff 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 so the like i said the area is bent i'm gonna take you in and cut the glass and then put it at the edge that i cut it that they both of them line up together so I have that cohesive look going. So this is the bottom part of it. That's the table legs. And yes, distress glass with the gold. Like I said, if you want a video, hit me up. I do you want solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the mirror onto the legs. And yes, girl, I did it. And look how it looks look how it looks she did that oh lord i don't know what to do with myself yes listen i love to create i love 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 to create to invent to do something different everyone on youtube have mirror furniture i like them but i don't like them that bright so i decided to judge mine up so let's go cut us some glass so yes she's looking all twisted she's getting ready to cut this glass so i'm showing you the distress glass i may show you how it looked before yeah 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 this is another piece that i had to cut and this is the way it look and i'm gonna cut this piece actually this is mirror that has not been aged has not been antique so I'm showing you what it looks like before and what it looked like now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this piece in the edge of it cut because I need it to fit in a little tight space that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead, use my marker, line it up, and then use my glass cutter to cut, to cut the edge that I need off of this piece so i'm lining the excess that i want to cut off so i'm taking my marker now my permanent marker and just marking a line where i'm gonna go ahead and just snippety snippet it off and i drew my line as you see it right here and i'm gonna show you how i take my oil put a little bit right here right on the line gonna get my glass cutter and i have a little kit there i'm showing you with glass cut cutters i have one for circular glass one for straight glass yes yeah, she cutting glass now so i am putting pressure on it and snippety snipping it and i am edging it up real good you're not supposed to go over it twice but listen i'm kind of backwards sometimes so now i'm gonna go ahead and you gotta wiggle it a bit to not break the longer piece so yes yeah, so i took off one piece off of it as you see and i am gonna take the other piece off you gotta put a little pressure and just pull while you wiggle it so you don't damage the piece that you're going to use so i'm just clipping it all off 
and uh, yeah as you see the pieces is just coming off and it's gonna give me a nice edge to it it's gonna give a lovely edge still even though I'm breaking it off so we are working with glass and like I said you need a video showing me how showing you how to cut glass and how to NT glass hit your girl up so now all I have to do is just use like a diamond uh, a diamond sander and just sand out the edge but I ain't gonna even do that because I wouldn't even need it so I'm going to show you how to do the longer glass now so I'm going to measure get it in the middle because I want them to be evenly around because I told you my table have a little bend in it it's not straight so I'm going to go ahead mark the middle and I located my middle and use my marker mark it out then I'm gonna remove this and then get my um, get a straight edge I'm gonna use a piece of mirror to line it up and yes you line it up properly and then I'll put my oil see where the mark is in the middle and I'm gonna put a little oil on it and now I'm gonna come in with my glass cutter I'm gonna put pressure on it Put a little bit of pressure and I'm gonna turn it to the other side because I want to make sure that that cut is like really flush to it so I'm going in the groove I'm from where I left off I'm going in the groove and I did not hear the little grind so now I'm going to go ahead and snap it on the table. Yes, she said snap it on the table. So I'm pulling my, my um, towel a little bit because I needed a little cushion. And now snap! Yes! She did that, right? She, she showed it. She showed it. <laughs> Guys, I love what I do. I love to create. I love to decorate and showing you guys how you could take what someone thought was nothing and make it into something or take a low end piece or like piece that's been around for a while because my furniture is very strong wood and it's that heavy wood and you could bring it up to date and make it look fabulous so guys if you like what I'm doing here, like, please like, subscribe, and share. Share my videos. Share my videos. Tell someone you know a girl, and she does all type of stuff. Something wrong with her. She cut glass. She paints. She builds. She put up sheetrock. She, listen, you think she do too much? I love it. I love it. I love it. Play music, and I could work all day. So, see, I just snapped the glass in peace. And I'm gonna go ahead, put a little squiggly line like I see people be doing, and stick it on the table. And this is the way that it is looking. Guys, I am so happy. My brain is so overactive, and I am so glad of, I thank God for my creativity, really and truly. And I will soon show you the reveal of this table. Yes, from trash to treasure. And I am loving it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the underside of the table. I think I'm gonna have to cut the glass a little bit because it has um, a piece that blocked it. I'm also gonna do glass in the little niche right there on the china cabinet and in the little frame. I am gonna do some glass too. I might age the um, knobs also. Guys, if you like what I'm doing here, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification that when I upload videos, you'll be one of the first to be notified. I appreciate you all for watching. Let's create.